Well, it seems to me that artificial intelligence, especially generative AI, places itself in continuity, I would say, with other technological innovations. And this is for at least two reasons. First, um, because the revolution produced by AI in the media and creative industries, as many previous ones, will probably be declared a revolution only long after it happened. It's something that occurred also to uh, Gutenberg's printing press that we were mentioning, as noted by the famous historian Elizabeth Einstein in her fascinating book, which I strongly recommend. It's called The Printing Press as an Agent of Change from 1979. Um, Einstein noted that the, the revolutionary effect of the press was uh, kind of underestimated due to the focus of historians on its role in disseminating new ideas, which is correct. But the real novelty, according to Eisenstein, concerned what nowadays we would call the brain frame, as readers for the first time were enabled to see several texts together and compare them, stalking, elaborating, re-elaborating information in a totally new way. Now, the same, in my view, is happening today with the application of AI in the media sector. Its disruptive effect goes unnoticed because when it comes to um, AI, the media and creative industries remain under the radar in the public debate. Since they are not among the leading adoption fields, I presume, compared, for instance, to the financial sector or the telecommunication sector. Despite this, the importance of AI in the media is such that Two of the winners of the last Pulitzer Prize for journalism admitted using AI system in their investigation and getting so much, so many benefits from AI. The second reason why the AI revolution looks like the main technological revolution of the past, in my view, is its um, ability to divide, to polarize, indeed, the public debate between enthusiasts on the one end and radical opponents on the other, as in the case of any other technological and media innovation, starting from electricity, I would say.